is an email from Jeff. In another episode, you have encouraged Christians struggling with sin to look to Christ. What does it mean to look to Christ? I'm struggling with a certain sin in my life and would really like to understand and would really like to understand you better. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, absolutely, this is something we say over and over again, look to Christ, look to Christ. It's faith. That's what we mean by by looking to Christ. That's what faith is. There are different ways of saying it. Resting in Christ, trusting in Christ. Um, I love the way some of the Puritans uh, put it, rolling ourselves over onto Christ. Mm. In other words, we're just, you know, there's nowhere else we can go. We're throwing ourselves on God's mercy, knowing that if we hide in Jesus Christ, the rock of ages, we will not experience God's wrath and judgment. In Matthew 17, verses 5 through 8, uh, we're, we're told, Jesus was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were terrified. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. So here, Elijah and uh, Elisha, all, you know, the, the Moses, they're all standing there. And you can imagine, these are, these are Jewish people. These are their... They're homeboys, <laughs> and they are absolutely enraptured with this conversation that's going on uh, between their beloved master, Jesus, and their heroes. But then they all vanish, and Jesus alone is left. The prophets have done their job. They have pointed to Christ, and now Jesus Christ is the one we look to, mm-hmm. not Moses um, and, and Paul talks about placarding or billboarding Jesus uh, when he writes to the Galatians. And how, do you, how did he do that? By preaching the gospel. When you preach the gospel, you are billboarding Jesus. It's as if you're, you are, are putting him up on a billboard. The way we see Jesus today is by hearing his word and receiving baptism and the Lord's Supper. These are the means by which he promises to be present with us in blessing. Uh, we also see Jesus in our brothers and sisters who are his brothers and sisters, and we're all being conformed together to his image. Uh, one day we'll see him face to face. So fixing our eyes on Jesus, Jeff, means hearing the gospel and responding to it in faith, believing the gospel, trusting that Jesus is enough to deal with the guilt and condemnation and also the tyranny of our sins, including the sin that you're struggling with right now. Don't despair. We all struggle with indwelling sin. We fight against it. You wouldn't be asking this question if you weren't struggling and fighting against it. Um, don't make it a pet. Don't make it one of those things that, oh, well, I can... I get, This is, this is kind of cute. Kind of a cute sin. I can hold hold this and feed it and, Mm-mm. you know, hide it. No, bring it out into the open. It, you know, if you can tell— Let it get hit by a car. Yeah. This is—sorry, that was stupid. If you can, go, you know, tell your elders uh, or tell a friend. Start with a, start with a close, mature Christian friend and say, can, can we be accountable together— uh, I have this sin I'm really struggling with, and I want I need to hear regularly that I'm forgiven of that sin, but also to be able to confess it and and get advice on what to do about it. You're not going to get that from a call-in show. You're going to get that from real people where you live, where you can actually share the details of what it is that you're going through. So I'd really encourage you, Jeff, hold, look to Christ in faith and go reach out to your brothers and sisters who are also Jesus' brothers and sisters, especially the wiser, older ones in the faith. And I'll bet you'll be surprised that they're going through similar challenges in their own life. 